So I put together a series of four videos for the MX-6 and MX-6 Elite going over all the parts that need to be replaced. In this video here I put all the videos together for you in one spot so you can troubleshoot your MX-6 or MX-6 Elite with just one video. So I cover all the parts here that I cover in the four part series when I showed you how to rebuild your MX-6 or again your MX-6 Elite. You notice that your MX-6 is not moving in your pool or not turning. First thing to check is the turbine to make sure nothing's stuck in there. In this series of videos, I'm going to go ahead and show you different parts of the cleaner that you can change to get it moving again. So you want to go ahead and open it up and make sure nothing is jammed inside the turbine. Simply press down on this yellow tab here and then pull up. And just inspect the turbine make sure nothing is stuck in here. And since the MX-6 is a suction side cleaner, you want to make sure that your filter is clean. This will affect the movement of the cleaner. You also want to make sure that the pump basket is free of debris and that the pump is working properly. So before you start changing parts, check out the equipment, the pump, and the filter to make sure that they're clean. So after you check to make sure the filter is clean and the pump basket isn't clogged with debris, the next thing you want to do is check the tracks on the cleaner. This is usually the first part that wears off. So these tracks have teeth on them. These will wear out over time. Simply replacing this usually will get the cleaner moving in a lot of cases. So these simply slide right off. You can see the teeth right there inside there. And you can see the bottom of this track is also pretty worn out. And these tracks only come in single packs. So go ahead and order two of them to replace both at the same time. And you can see the new one has a lot more tread on the bottom. Also the teeth are more defined so it's going to catch on here a lot easier. So I'm going to slide it in. And you just pull it over this part here. And you want to do the same thing on the other side. So after you change the tracks on the cleaner, go ahead and put it in the pool, see if it moves okay. If the cleaner starts moving again, you know that was the problem. So that's how you change the tracks in the MX-6. It's very simple. If you notice that your MX-6 is not turning in the pool, it's probably the directional device that has gone bad. And you would just need to order a new directional device. You want to order side A. The MX-8 uses two of these, which is side A and side B. The MX-6 uses only one, which is side A. Go ahead and open this up. And here's the directional device right here. You're going to remove this screw right here. Let me take this screw out. Okay, just remove that screw. You want to take this track off. After you remove that track, just go ahead and loosen this screw up. Okay, now this should slide right off. Go ahead and continue removing the screw. Just pull it out like that. And then the directional device just pops out. You want to insert the new one, one direction only. You kind of see the shape of this, and you see the shape of this here. It goes in just like this. You see the screw holes will line up. Just make sure it's in there firmly and even. Now you want to put it back in the MX-6. Just line it up like this. And the body frame should line up like that. You want to put the screw back in. Okay, and go ahead and close the top. Turn it back on the side here. There's a new screw included in the bag. You want to put it in here. Just tighten this one up good. Take the track and put it back on. So that's how you change the directional device, side A, on the MX-6 to get it turning again. If you change the tracks on the MX-6 and it's still not working, it may be the engine assembly and two bearings on there. I'll go ahead and show you how to change the engine assembly. Okay, there are six screws holding it on. There's one here, one here, 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 and then there's two over here on this side. So let's take these six screws off. Okay, after you get those six screws off, this piece just slides right up and off. You'll see the engine assembly right here. It's easy to take off. You just lift up this end here. I'm going to slide this end out of this black piece. It should slide right out. Go ahead and remove this part. 
I like to change the bearings also with the engine assembly so I can leave these on. If you're not going to change the bearings, you can reuse them by pulling them off. They come off really easily. You can reuse the bearings, but I usually change both at the same time. There's two bearings on them. I have the new engine assembly. I'm going to put the bearings on. Okay, then you slide this piece back in on this end. Then you slide this piece back in. And also note that there's two bearings on this also, one here and one also over here. You can replace those if necessary. Those are very long lasting compared to the ones on the engine assembly. So to get the engine assembly back in, it's very easy. You wanna make sure these are in there good. You wanna slide this over here. You can adjust the vanes to kind of get it in there. You can actually pull this part out here and you can push this back in. Just make sure it's set in there well. Then you want to take the cover, just put it back on. Then you may have to move the vanes a little bit to kind of get it to set. And the body should sit on there really snug. I'm going to get the six screws back in. Okay, once you have the six screws back in, go ahead and close the top. You just want to test it to make sure everything works. Go ahead and spin this part. You can see the engine assembly moving in there. That's how you replace engine assembly in an MX-6 to get it moving again. So if you change the tracks on the cleaner, and if you also change the engine, and it's still not moving well, it may be the cyclonic turbine on the bottom. I'll show you how to change that in this video. You would just need to order a new cyclonic turbine. First thing you want to do is take this piece off the top by pressing on these tabs and pulling up. Turn the MX-6 over on the bottom. You can see on the bottom here there's an arrow here and an arrow here on the turbine. Just go ahead and match the arrows up. I can get a screwdriver and loosen up the screw that's in there. Just take a screwdriver and loosen up that screw. Again, the arrows need to be aligned for this to work. Just pull this out towards you. And one thing to note is that the screw stays in the turbine itself. And I have the new one here. You see it has a screw here. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it for you. Here's the old one. Let me spin it so you can get an idea that it's wearing out. This could cause the cleaner to move really slowly or not move well in the pool. Go ahead and insert the new one in here. Again, line the arrows up. Then you take a screwdriver and you'll just tighten this up. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.